Welcome to day one of the MR and Excel digital mixing class. And in day one, we're going to be looking into the set of configuration, connections, and every other thing to have this mixer running. My name is Theo Mixedit, and I promise to make this as real as possible, as fast as possible, and to share everything I can in real time. Let's do this together. All right, so some of you might already be familiar with this, but for those that are not um, familiar with it, it's a this is MR18. You might have the 16, which you might have the 12, but they are basically almost all the same. The uh, this MR18 has in, 18 inputs, you know, 16 XLR and then two jack um, inputs, and it has six auxiliary outputs. So you can see it's six bus outputs, six bus output, and then you have the, your main left and right outputs and your phones out, outputs, you know, for to monitor yourself here. Yeah. So um, it has the Ultranet partner monitoring system, so you can connect it with a P16 network. So you can use it with a P16, and it has the remote Ethernet um, port also, just here. So the XR and the MR mixers have inbuilt Wi-Fi system where you can connect your phone and other devices to control it. But you can also connect it to an external internet system here. Yeah? And maybe where you are, the network is failing. There are a lot of people, because there are times whereby you might use this in a place where the crowd is much, the network might be in a canceling or failing. And you might need to connect it to an external router. Yeah. And of course, it has the, the 18, XR18 and MR18 as, as the USB ports for multi-track. So you can use this to multi-track and do other, you can connect it with your laptop and you know do other stuff. And then it has the MIDI in and out. The XR12 and 16, they use um, USB ports. So you plug in your USB ports to have your stereo recording or your playback recording here. And um, that's just basically the foundation. That's just basically all about the mixer physically you get. Every other thing you connect, you control with your, you control with your phone or your iPad. So now let's power this up. Okay. All right, so we just have it. The power plug is somewhere here. Have it plugged to this, and so to control this mixer, you can either download the app. It has the it has its own app from the official website. You know, you can download the app there, or there's another app I use. It's called the Mixing Station. This is it on my screen here. I actually prefer this mixing station because with this mixing station, you can actually connect to various type kind of mixers. Yeah, with this mixing station. Let me show you from the beginning what it looks like. So this is what the mixing station looks like. You know, you can connect other mixers to it. Do you understand? So I'm going to show you how you can connect. I'm going to connect with my phone and my laptop. Yeah, so once you have your mixer powered on and set, then if you are using the inbuilt Wi-Fi of the mixer, then you have to make sure that there's a little button here close to the um to close to the internet point. You see it, it has Wi-Fi client access point, and then so you have to switch this knob here to where the Wi-Fi um where, where the access point is. It has to be where the access point is, the other side of it. So once you do that, the Wi-Fi of the mixer should be on already. When you search, you will see it's MR18, or if it's XR16, you see there written XR16. And once you do that, I want to believe that you downloaded the app already also. All right, so if you want to connect it to your phone, then and you've downloaded the mixing station, you go to click the mixing station, click on add mixer, you see Behringer, and you see X, uh, this and this. Now for you, you have to choose full, do you understand? And then you select connect. Now, blah, blah, no license, of course, yes. Continue in trial mode. And then you see it. And then you connect. Initialize. All right, cool. So once you connect, so once you connect, it's going to come up clean like this. So these are all your inputs you have your inputs here and then you have your outputs 
you know everything is there set so this is for people that perhaps you are in an event and the crowd is so much and you're always losing signal of the mixer because sometimes when you're in a crowded place you can lose the signal of this mixer you know it can keep trying to reconnect 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 and you don't want to have that especially when you are in a performance you know your performance session and all you don't want to have that happening to you so the best way is to connect this to an external router i'm going to show you how to do that now first of all you need the router the router doesn't have to have data does not have to have internet like you don't have to have subscription all you need is just the network so once the router is on you need this cable this internet cable you plug one to the back of this router and you plug the other one now for your mr18 and x18 there's a port here where the roads remotes then the internet ethernet under you have the other mount plugged there now once it's plugged there there's a button here you have to switch most times your button is always in access point here so you have to switch it over to this other side so once you switch that on a yellow light should come on now once the yellow light is on it means the mixer is taking the um service the ip address is taking the you know connection from this and now once you have this connected you cannot go to your wi-fi you cannot go to your wi-fi then connect to the network of this mixer once you've connected to it then you come to your laptop open your mixing station this is my mixing station or any app you use to control your own device then you search let me enlarge the screen. I hope everyone can see it. You search continue in trial mode and then you connect. Voila. You have your mixer here. So this is how it look like for a start. Is a is a when you buy the mixer, these are to come in. Your channels, you have eight channels, then the other 16 channels on the second page. Then you have your bosses here, your main. I know. So that's that about that. So I think that's all for the connection and the configuration of the mixer. These are the basic things that you need to know in connecting the mixer to your phone and your devices and all. All right, so, so what are the basic things you need to put in place before you start making sure you start doing anything and all? First of all, your main. Always make sure that, just try and put your main in zero, unity first. Let your main be in unity and then of course, you can select these buses. Later, we're going to get there to know how you can assign them to your speakers or whatever, whatever. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to start with. All right. So we're looking at what a channel consists of. We start from this session, the configuration search session. So we start from the config session. We have the AD. The AD is, is basically just the physical input signal, you know, gain. Yeah. So you can always change it. And that's the beauty about a digital mixer. You can assign, you can route it anyhow you want. You know, you can have <laughs> physical input one, take, you know, you can have channel one, take physical input two, source. And you can have, you know, you like, you can just do anything you want with it. The same with the USB parts. So this mixer can actually multi-track into your laptop and it can also play back from your laptop through each channel. Do you understand? So you can select, okay, channel one now, you want it to take the source from, you know, USB 16 from your laptop. So we're still going to go into all this later on. Um, your trim is the volume for, you know, is the signal rather for, you know, the USB from your, I mean, for the USB signal from your laptop. All right, so the next thing we're looking at now is, so the next thing we're looking at, next session is the, then of course we have the, we have the phantom power here. We have the phantom power here. This for if you are using, um, you know, a phantom powered mic, you can always put it on here. Yeah. And we have the phase, most times, so this is used mostly when you are micing drums, maybe your snare, um, and you mic the top uh, snare and the bottom snare, and it's having a bit of a face issue. Then you can apply this, you get. And then to link is to just each channel is in. So each channel is in mono. Do you understand? Mono means one signal, like just one 
but you can decide to link two channels together to form a stereo input. Do you understand? Do you understand that? So basically, you can take channel one and channel two. But on this mixer, you can't link channel one and channel ten. So you have to link two channels that are close to each other, like one and two, pair them. You can pair them to be stereo. So for instance, I want to record your keyboard in stereo left and right. You can use maybe one and two or seven and eight, pair them together. So that's basically all that does. Then of course, the gates, we have the gates here. We're going to this later on, you know. And then we have your EQ, parametric EQ. You know, we're going to this later on. And we have the, compre the compressor, we're also going to it later on. And then we have the sends. So you can send each channel into any of the bus, any of the FX. And your left and right so that's all about the channels and then for the outputs like i already said we have six buses you know six physical outputs and we have six buses and the same for these buses you can also eq each bus separately you know individually and you can also use compression it does its own compression i mean its own compressor for each of the bus individually but there's something i discovered lately very amazing And then you can also link buses two together. See, but so maybe you want to give out a stereo output. You know, maybe you want to give out a stereo, a stereo output. Maybe you want to give out your front of house, your left and right. You can give out maybe bus one and bus two. You can link. Um, really just beautiful. And you can actually send your bus to your main left and right with just this button. Do you understand? You can send your bus to your main left and right with just this button. And then for fx yeah now we have four so we have four rack fx here you know you can use four rack fx beautiful thing about fx is that here you can eq your fx so maybe you have your reverb you can actually still eq your reverb do you understand and you can have them sent out to any of the boss that you want to send it out to so there's something i actually just discovered about FX that you can actually route FX also. I mean, it's really beautiful with the USB. You can route your FX. Amazing. I'll show us later. And then mix. Then DCS. DCS is amazing. We're going to show you how to use your DCS later. You know, DCS is amazing. You can put as many channel you want or whatever you want in your DC and just group them. For instance, I can make this my drums. Make this my background vocals or backup vocals. I can make this my instrument. Make this my loop and percussions. It's just amazing. All right. So if you want to have your, maybe you have, maybe you just finish a session and the mix you actually love the mix and the mix is actually nice and good and you want to have it saved. You just click on this folder option, then click on this MSC, then come here, click on this, and you save it. That's it. So you can always come back to load and to give it to you back. Do you understand that? Yeah. So what else? So I think that's all for now. I'm just going to show us. What else do we need? All right, so that's all for now. So day two, we're going to go into setting up the channels, you know, having the instruments running, getting staging, everything and all. And um, trust me, at the end of these seven days, you should be able to you should be able to mix with this particular mixers confidently. So thank you so much for your time. Please don't forget to subscribe and share this with everyone that you think would need this. God bless you all.